On today's episode, I'm going to build a new doorboard, straight edge, a DIY track saw, because the old one is no longer straight, it has a bow in it, and it's kind of seen better days. So what exactly is a doorboard? Well, I guess it was given that name because people used something shorter to uh, clamp to the bottom of a door and cut the bottom of the door or the top of the door off when they were framing out a house. Well, I use it in my shop to break down sheet goods. You basically measure off the edge of your sheet good, make a nice accurate mark on both ends of the sheet good, then line up the edge of the quarter inch plywood to that line and take your circular saw and run it along the straight edge. This is a quick way to break down large sheets of plywood and you get very good uh, accurate cuts with this. So towards the end of the video, I'll give you some tips in using this door board, straight edge, DIY track saw, whatever you would like to call it. And hopefully you can use these in your shop or out on the job site or even at Home Depot's parking lot to break down a, a sheet of plywood and fit it in your vehicle. Okay, the most important part of a door board is having a nice straight straight edge. So I have ripped this piece of plywood off of a fresh sheet um, using the factory edge as a reference and uh, using not my old door board because it is bowed, that's why we're making a new one, and cut this as straight as possible. Next, the process is pretty easy. We're going to put glue on the back side, line this back edge with the factory edge on this piece of Luon and we're going to clamp that and let it dry. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I glued this piece of plywood straight to a 4x8 sheet of quarter inch plywood or Luon as I called it earlier. And that's so that we do not have to do any measurements. We're going to run the saw up against the fence and uh, cut this piece loose from the 4x8 sheet. That will give us a nice straight edge and when you use this in the future you'll use that straight edge or the edge of the quarter inch plywood to reference off of your marks on a piece of plywood. Okay, while I was cutting that, I was making sure the saw was up against the fence and that I was watching it really closely to make sure this is as straight as possible um, because we only get one shot at this to make, make this edge nice and straight and perfect because that's what we want. If there's imperfections in this now, that will be transferred over to any sheet goods that you're going to cut later. That's why I'm rebuilding this because the old unit over time had created a bow in it and uh, when you're making things that are square, that's not really advantageous to have that into your plywood. So the old straight edge that I had, the doorboard, uh, it was probably five years old. It's been banged up. It had uh, warped over time, meaning warped laterally. And then for some reason, uh, over the past year, it had developed a bow in it, and it was probably about 3 16ths of an inch somewhere in the middle. Um, and it's just, it was just time to build a new one. So um, this one, I'm using plywood for the straight edge because hopefully it's plywood is very stable. The other doorboard was made out of a piece of poplar, 
And when I purchased that, I went through several of them at Home Depot and made sure they were laser straight. And um, basically I did the same process that you see here making uh, that door board. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let this sit a little bit longer. We're gonna flip it over and put some uh, brads in the bottom to attach it even better. And uh, then we'll do some light sanding. I do want to finish this. Hopefully that will help keep the moisture, um, um, the moisture stable in this uh, door board and it won't warp over time. So the polyurethane has dried. You saw me put a coat of paste wax on our uh, straight edge. I also put some paste wax on the foot of the circular saw and they slide really nice. So now I'm going to show you exactly what this straight edge door board DIY track saw is used for. So hopefully you can see this mark right here. When you use this straight edge, the whole purpose of the quarter inch plywood is obviously for the uh, saw to run across, but this edge represents the inside edge of the uh, saw blade. So in this case, we're, we need to cut this board uh, 30 and a half inches. So I've made that mark and what we'll do is we will line up the edge of our mark with the edge of the quarter inch plywood on both ends, clamp this down, and then run our saw. Now, if I were to flip the uh, straight edge around and cut, line up this this along with the edge, but the, tr the uh, guide would be on this side, that means that my 30 and a half inch measurement would be short by the thickness of the blade. So, I want the saw on this side of the mark so my uh, saw guide is actually on the other side of the mark. So I will line up the other end, uh, get this nice and, and on the line, clamp down, and then we'll make this cut. Let's see how we did. And you also notice that there is a one inch thick piece of uh, closed cell foam. That's the best thing to use is this, is this big thick uh, piece of foam. That way when you cut your part, it's supported. Um, you saw that I had a clamp. Hopefully you saw that I had a clamp on the other side to hold the hose and the cord, even though the cord got hung up on the uh, uh, clamp at the end. So let's see how we did on our cut. We're looking for 30 and a half, and that is dead on 30 and a half. But the main thing is, it's nice and straight. So I call that a success. I've made a lot of use out of that straight edge for sure. And one other tip is I keep the same blade in my circular saw when I'm uh, using my tracks, my track DIY track saw, door board, straight edge, whatever you would like to call it. Um, that way, it's it's the same thickness kerf. Um, if I put a, a thicker kerf blade on there, it's actually going to get into the quarter inch um, 
piece of plywood that's on the bottom of this of the straight edge as well so we don't want to do that so I have a I believe that's a 40 tooth um, blade in the circular saw and it leaves a nice clean cut so that's another good tip I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this episode while you're here I'd appreciate it if you would look over some of the other videos that I have on my channel I'm nearing 1,000 subscribers, so I would encourage you to consider subscribing. Again, I appreciate you checking out today's episode, and I'll see you on the next one.